dawn at Grand Lake. When the fog lifted, there were enough competitors to triple the town's population. We're right around 800 anglers on the ice today, and we drilled 1,200 holes this morning. We started drilling at 3 a.m. Ice addiction is Nathan Zielinski's baby. Anglers, drop your lines. This stop on his annual ice fishing series paid out $26,000 in cash and prizes, including 7,500 bucks for the heaviest fish. How would you spend that money? I would spend it to go to Disneyland. What's the key out here, you think? <laughs> Pick the right hole. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. We kind of you know, force you to fish a certain area, and it's just down to your skills if you can get it done. Is that it? That's it, that's presentation. There are anglers of all shapes and sizes, ages and abilities, and they all think they have a shot at the money fish. Yes, they do is uh, biggest fish, carp, sucker, whatever. Doesn't matter, biggest fish wins. George Garcia bagged the top prize at Boyd Lake two years ago. On this day, a 25 and a half inch lake trout took the early lead, weighing in just under six and a half pounds. Is that the money fish? I hope so. <laughs> Eric Delamo watched nervously for the next three hours as fishermen after fishermen brought their catches to the way station. But the wait was worth it. Eric Delamu! And not just for Eric. That's a great feeling. My boys, I told them I'd share with them. So they're gonna have a savings, a college savings fund. That 529 plan is a fish story for the ages. Aaron Anderson, Box 31.